So why your cholesterol test isn't enough to detect heart diseases? So most of us think that cholesterol will give or will predict that the risk of getting a heart attack, but it is not true. So most of us know that there are two different types of cholesterol, like LDL cholesterol as well as HDL cholesterol. As LDL cholesterol is bad for the heart, you know HDL cholesterol is equally good. But many of us don't understand that it is not only the numbers like increase in the LDL or decrease in the HDL is not only sufficient but that there are other other parameters which we need to keep in mind whenever you go for a cholesterol test. So the first most important is the apolipoprotein B. So many of us if you see the lipid profile apolipoprotein B if you have a higher levels the chance of getting a heart attack is more. So apo B mainly shows about the dense LDL particles. So a patient who has high dense LDL, the chance of getting blockages and the chance of getting heart attacks are very much high. So along with the APOB, there are other risk markers which you always see like the inflammatory markers like the HSCRP. So if a patient who has a high HSCRP, like the CRP levels more than three, then the risk of getting the blockages or the getting inflammation and the getting your cholesterol deposited in the arteries is very much high. So that is also one of the most important risk factor. The third one is the genetic risk factor, like the lipoprotein little a. So many of us don't measure lipoprotein little a, but nowadays there is a modern concept which has come that a person who has a higher genetic risk, like a higher value of lipoprotein little a, if it is more than 40 milligrams per deciliter, then the chance of getting a heart attack is very much higher. So we don't have medicines to decrease the lipoprotein little a, but definitely if you know that your lipoprotein little a is high, then you can always take some preventive aspect to control it. And last, we have the CT coronary calcium score also, which indirectly tells us about the blockages in your heart. So it is not only the cholesterol, like I said, the LDL, but the dense LDL, the lipoprotein little a, the HSCRP levels, and of course, the CT coronary calcium, all together gives us a holistic picture of your heart. Thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe for more health updates.